Hey guys, Nolan here. Today I've got three things that you need to expect when you're training the green horse. But before we do that, why not hit the subscribe button and the bell so you are notified the moment I upload new content, hmm? Oh, and I want to try something different today. In the comments down below, tell me your favorite color. Okay, three things to expect when schooling a green horse. When schooling a green horse, or any horse for that matter, but especially a greenie. There are three things I expect to happen when my bum hits that saddle. Like these three things have to happen. No ifs, ands, or buts. For progression, for training, for safety. Being a dressage rider, I'm pretty much dealing with the training pyramid every single time I ride. But these things aren't set in stone deal breakers. If Horsey loses suppleness, that's fine. We'll try again next stride. Oh no, our straightness is shot. No worries, we'll get back on track. As sympathetic riders, we have to understand that these things are going to happen many times during a ride. Maybe Horsey gets distracted. Maybe he loses balance. Maybe it's a strength thing. Regardless, there's a compromise and a dialogue that goes back and forth between horse and rider. And you work through it. With that said, there are three things that, you know, don't get compromises. First thing, you gotta go when I say go. The horsey, no, he, he doesn't get a say here. The aid to move has to mean something. I mean, this is as basic as it gets, and especially if you're dealing with a young horse, this needs to be understood right off the bat. This is not to be confused with moving forward, but they do go hand in hand. Going forward means to carry on a line and to engage the hind end. Advance the load. But what we're talking about is something as simple as, my leg needs go. Once again, yeah, they are similar. It can seem identical, but they are different. If you struggle at differentiating the two, think go as a toddler learning how to walk. And forward is an adult jogger. The toddler is going to struggle with balance and understanding where his feet go, but they want to get somewhere. The jogger, on the other hand, is able to manage their balance, keep rhythm, and propel forwards to their destination. For more information on what forward is and how you can get your horse forward, I have a link right up there and I'll link it down below in the description. Definitely give it a check out. Second thing, Horsey's gotta stop when I say stop. That's it, no debate. It doesn't matter if you are walking, trotting, or cantering. When you say we need to come to a halt, we have to come to a halt. Now that doesn't mean you're cantering around and decide, oh, put in a good old sliding stop. But at the same time, you shouldn't ask him to come down, and 10 minutes later, he decides to finally stop. Yeah, that's not acceptable. But if I let him stop when he wants to, he's square. I don't really give a crap. We need to make this very clear. When I say stop, we need to stop. Let me put it into perspective with these two examples. In a simple example, if he can't come to a stop when you ask, we're really going to struggle with half halts. Just saying. You'll ask for a half halt, not get a reaction, and everything after will be crap. Your leg yields, your flying changes, even if you're a jumper, your jumps. And if you want to do higher movements, you're really going to struggle with tempi. Because as you go up the levels, you're spending a lot of time using half halts than anything else. That's the simple example. The second example I'm going to give you is a bit more extreme. You need your horse to stop for safety. What happens when a horse gets loose while you are cantering around the arena? If your horse doesn't stop when you ask him to, and this loose horse is winging around the arena, chances are your horse is gonna start winging around too. They are herd animals and they tend to flee. But if you can stop your horse, you can defuse that whole situation on your end. Cutting off the possibility of going for a yeehaw, and you always have the option to dismount if you need to. Once again, horsey gotta stop when I say stop. And the last thing horsey's gotta do is turn when I say turn. He doesn't get to grab on to that bit and take me for a drag around the countryside. No, 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 no. When I say turn, we turn. Just like before, safety reasons. And please note, this isn't just for dressage horses or performance horses. This goes for all horses. Even if all you do is hack or go trail riding. What happens if you encounter a car or people walking their dogs? You need to be able to turn. Because ain't nobody want to get run over by a horse when they're walking their damn dogs. And you know people on bikes or in a car lose the ability to think straight when they see a horse. 
And once again, in the arena, you're probably gonna be riding with other people. Nobody likes a track hog. Turn! Horsey needs to turn when you say turn. That's it. What is the first thing you expect when you ride a horse? Let me know down below. And don't forget your favorite color. Mine is green, by the way. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, slow thing, but it really does go a long way. And if you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe button and join the little cruiser guild yourself. We have new videos up every week for your entertainment, but also to make this horse world make a bit more sense. And that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys today, all right? Thank you so much for watching. I am Noel Michael Cruz. I'll talk to you later. Ciao!